you guys sent me so much mail what's up guys we're back with another epic video today you guys saw we have a lot of mail we haven't done a viewer mail day in a while so it's built up a little bit there should be some pretty cool stuff in here that you guys sent before that we have a quick giveaway i'll be giving away these three cards we have a smashing ground gold rare we've got a prophecy destroyer and a first edition chaos rider gustav all you have to do to enter the giveaway is like the video be subscribed like 50 percent of you guys are watching and not subscribed so just go ahead and do it you get to enter the giveaway you're supporting me and of course you're already watching anyway so you might as well and then of course leave a comment about your favorite piece of mail let me know what you want to see from uh, viewers in the future or what you might send out also i want to quickly mention this saturday we're opening every single special edition the raw footage that i recorded i recorded it yesterday two and a half hours so it's going to be long guys sit back and relax when we get to that one but let's get into this i don't know how long this one's gonna be it might be kind of long as well but not two and a half hours but let's get into it the first item we have is an envelope from Sinisha, I believe. Let's see. Oh, where are you open this one? Okay, let's see what's inside. So we have a couple of cards here. It says, thank you. Thank you. That's it. That's the whole message. And we're a little bit spoiled here. What could it be? Ah, the legend himself. The Pequeno Moth. All right, inside we have four Pequeno Moth. These are Metal Raiders, Metal Raiders, Metal Raiders, and Metal Raiders. So we have four Pequeno Moths to add to the... Uh, insect collection so pretty epic all right next up we have one from gal so let's see what gal sent us there's addresses all over this thing so i'm gonna open it off camera we don't want to be sharing uh people's addresses all right we'll pull it out there we go all right gal gal sent us mod for the channel by the way so let's see what uh gal sent let's read the note first hey rux subscriber number 300 and something here been here from day one and i've enjoyed watching your channel grow to an amazing loving good vibes community okay uh, with lots of tiny caterpillars and chocolate-covered baby chickens. <laughs> to return the favor for all the live streams, successful and unsuccessful boxes, rip MFC. Why'd you have to bring it up? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, and of course, the Ghost Rares. I give you Alien Music, one of the greatest creatures to ever crawl the planet in the rarest, most elusive 1998 form. That is before English uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, so that's interesting. I remember the small but deadly creatures better off avoided. I just realized it's not the Petite Moth as advertised, but the ra rather the Cousin Moth, Larva. Looking forward to the 100k. Hope I'm not too late. Gal from Tel Aviv pronounced like Wonder Woman, Gal Gadet. Yeah. P.S. Shout out my YouTube channel. There it is. Check out that link. P.P.S. I'm a graphic designer by profession, so hit me up for a new complimentary channel banner for your fresh 100k account. Okay, he's teased it. 1998. The rarest Yu-Gi-Oh monster. Oh my goodness. Could this be it? The rarest Yu-Gi-Oh monster. We got to be careful here. We do not want to ruin the greatest card ever. Okay, this is very tough tape. There it is. Okay. We have 1998, he says. So, whoa, what is this? Oh, there it is. I was like, why is it so floppy? I'm scared. The legendary Larva Moth. Rarest version. The Cousin Moth. The rarest Yu-Gi-Oh card of all time. Wow. That's incredible. Gal, thank you very much. I actually really like this. This is awesome. <laughs> okay, we have one more envelope, and then we have the packages so let's let's go into this one oh, we got to be really careful here i feels like i don't know if i'm going to be able to cut this let's go like this okay we have let's see a thank you card this one's from chrissy let's see thanks oh here we go enjoy this giant kazaki card i don't need it anymore it's in a little bad shape i got i got the card that way ruxin 34 from christy king christy thank you for the card i appreciate it this one is from Jackson McQuaid. Let's see what he sent us. All right, so we've got a note in here. That's very cool. Oh, wow. Is this PAX? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, guys. We have... All right, giveaway, giveaway. Wait, no. To sign, giveaway, and... Is this a note? I think this is our note. Top loader note. What's up, Phil? I was saving these packs for a while for stonks, but couldn't stand the idea of a first edition Ghost or Ulti being in one of them. Um, What packs are these? Uh, so I've decided to send them to you to open for me. Thanks for all the great openings you blessed us with. Keep it up, Jackson. Oh my goodness. We pull a like, first edition uh, Ghost or Ulti. We're going to be losing it. Okay, so we have a giveaway. This is, oh my goodness. That's not what I expected. Chaos Emperor Dragon. Okay, let's just check it out. Let's check out the condition on this sucker. It looks like an original too. It doesn't look like a reprint. So we're talking original Chaos Emperor. Oh wait. Is it a reprint? No, maybe it is a reprint. Okay, now that it's out of the sleeve, maybe it's a reprint. It looks kind of like a 2010 version, maybe. I don't know. You're going to have to let, let us know what this was. But all, either way, this looks really good. The 2010 version, like, almost look original. But then you can, when you look at them closer, like, oh, wait. 
I really like this though. It looks incredible. You guys just like the video, be subscribed, and uh, you know, leave the comment if you guys want to win this sucker. Okay, guys, let's see what he wants me to sign. Oh, sign the oh, this is an old school maw. All right, so we got to sign this Picanio moth. Let's just go ahead and do it on the video, because why not? I need to make sure that I'm not supposed to sign this uh, on the card, so let's let's just save it for later. All right, let's see what we are opening today, guys. Okay, we got a few nice packs in here. Absolute Power Force. Let's see what else. Absolute Power Force. We've got Dark Legends. That's cool. We got Ancient Pro... First Edition. First Edition Cyber Dark Impact. Oh, my goodness. This is not messing around. This stuff is intense. We got Dark Legends, First Edition, uh, The Lost Millennium. Okay, all right. So, uh, there could be some big pulls in this. I guess we started off, guys. This, this could be crazy. Let's hopefully pull something good for him. Viewer Mail, we pull a First Edition Ghost Rare Ancient Fairy. Can you imagine that? Machine Assembly Line. We got the Rocket Pilder. Rape Keepers of Senate. Ooh, a Garland Orb, King of Destruction. This is just the ultra rare version, but I've always really enjoyed this guy's artwork. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, we're starting off hot. That's an ultra rare. That is pretty good. We got the shredder. We got some Ninja Turtles going on here. Let's go into a first edition extreme victory pack. We could pull the tour guide. We could pull a ghost rare junk berserk, I believe is the name, the cover card. Okay, we've got an Esper girl. TG SX1. The Resonant Destruction. Karakuri Kamachi Nanishi. That's a lot. Psybeast. And Forced Resonate. More Absolute Power Force. They were pretty good to us the first pack, so let's see about this one. We have the Weeping Idol. Rocket Pilder again. Pandabore. Psychers. Drill Synchron. And the power supplier, so nothing in that one. All right, let's go into, uh, let's try Dark Legends. You you guys know, you've seen this set a little bit on the channel. It's a pretty weird one, like, pretty unique. You do not see this set very often, but there's some pretty cool cards in here. And we did open a blister pack of this in the Every Special Edition coming this Saturday, so you might want to check that one out. Giant True Day, we got a Manga Ryan Rant. Also, if you missed the Every 10 opening from 2006 yesterday, go check it out. I didn't even really hype it up. So go check out that video. It's pretty cool. Opening every single 10. Cyber Dragon, all the uh, Sacred Beasts, all that stuff. Shining Angel. Red Eyes Black Dragon, I think, is actually worth a few bucks in a regular rare because he's, you know, he's from Dark Legends. Super hard to find. All right, another Absolute Power Force has yielded us our only foil so far from these. So let's see if we can uh, double up on Absolute Power Force. We've got a Viper's Rebirth. Magic Hole Golem. Lair Wire. Triacular. Burfament. And the Fire Ant Ascator. All right, the Burfament. We have still five packs left. Let's go into another Dark Legends. And we get that Blue Eyes, which is worth quite a bit. We've got the Luminous Spark. There's a ton of cards in here. How many is it? 12. There's three extra cards. UFO Turtle. Gravekeeper Servant. Flying Kamikiri, number one. Lajin, the Mystical Genie of the Land. Ooh, Embodiment of Apophis. We do have a foil, and then there's also a rare in here. That's pretty cool. A super rare Embodiment of Apophis. I always remember this one from Duel Links. Classic Odeon card. We got the uh, Megamorph Left Leg and Flame Swordsman. So uh, getting a couple Exodi pieces out of those packs is not bad. Okay, let's let's do a Cyber Dark Impact because we do have two of these. Um, we're going to save that Ancient Prophecy for last because that could have a very, very big card in it. Cyberdark, let's go. We got a Barrier Statue of the Inferno. Chain Strike. Barrier Statue of the Abyss. Justy Breaker. Rampaging Rhinos is our rare. Snipe Hunter. And Senate Switch. Let's do the Lost Millennium. I'm assuming that this is not a hobby pack. Um, I don't think it is, but that would be still insane to pull Ancient Gear Golem. Okay. Death Wombat. Clayman. Level Conversion Lab. Elemental Hero Sparkman. And Kazaki's self-destruct button. He's self-destructing. Okay. One more Cyber Dark Impact, and then we go into the Ancient Prophecy for Jackson. Let's see if we can get him something good. Viewer Mail Pulls. We've gotten two foils so far. Combo Fighter. We have the Flame Ogre. Vanity's Call. Oh, we rucks in special like three cards. Vanity's Ruler. Oh, man. That's actually a good rare. Probably the best rare in the set. Finally, the biggest of the packs, first edition Ancient Prophecy. It's always fun to open this one. So let's see if we can pull something crazy. Here we go. Ghost rare, guys. Let's do it. 
Armed Sea Hunter. Advanced draw. Depth Amulet. Wait. Oh, maybe this means we have something because it came up early. Uh-oh. It's sticking. The Synchro! I thought it was something! It's a Turbo Cannon. It is a Super. But oh my goodness, what a troll. Synchro. I thought that was it. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Pretty fun. Jackson, thanks for sending those in to be open. I always enjoy opening those up. Thankfully, we got a few pulls. Unfortunately, not that ghost share you're hoping for. Next up, we have a package from Adam. And I did open this one, but I didn't read the note or really look at it yet. So we have this. And we have what appears to be playing cards, which is pretty awesome. All right. Let's see what this note says. Dear Ruxin, I am a huge fan of your channel and I've been wanting to send in something for you to open and keep for one of your viewer mail videos. Encloses an officially licensed deck of Yu-Gi-Oh! Play My Cards, an item I hope you do not already have and hopefully you have not already seen. Sorry they are opened since I bought this a while ago before I started watching your channel and could not find you another new unopened deck. That is okay. That's okay. It doesn't have to be new. Anyways, I hope you find this item cool enough to put in one of your viewer mail videos. It's in here. And if so, I would consider it a great honor and would be very much appreciated. Lastly, I just want to say to please keep on making these epic videos of yours as YouTube and the Yu-Gi-Oh! world would not be the same without you. Yours truly, Adam. Thank you, Adam. Appreciate that. P.S. If it would be too much to ask of you, could you please check out my YouTube channel, Adams for the Love of Movie Picks? And if you like it, give a shout out on your channel for your viewers to check it out. And if you do not like it, or you think it is too much amateurish, I completely understand and respect your decision. Either way, you rock and rucks and peace out. So you guys can go check out his channel if you want. Let's check out these epic cards that he sent us. How Descartes, I probably said that wrong. Let's see, the playing cards. We'll play some Yu-Gi-Oh cards, you know. These are actually awesome. Check this out. Joker, we got the Ace, King, Queen, Jack, Blacklister Soldiers, the 10, eight, where's the nine? Five, four, wait a nine right there it is okay is it missing a nine these are really cool all right we got the ki pump king the legendary fisherman wait ooh, the dragon's on he looks a lot different on this okay blue eyes holdsman dragons the ace that the blue eyes white dragon so they have like so it's yugi for one of them and then it's who's it and then this is like random people like insect queen and all these things and then there's like kaiba stuff for the clover and then the Joey. So like one is just like miscellaneous and the others. That's actually amazing. These are awesome. I really like these. These are really cool. I've, I've never actually seen something like this. So I actually really enjoyed these. Thanks again, Adam. I, th that's a really cool item. We have another package here. Let's see what it is. Inside we have a note, which I think I chopped the edge off. <laughs> Whoops. All right. We have a couple of small items here. Let's see what these are. Dear Ruxin, we've been thinking of sending you the unforgettable mail for a while now but we could not decide on the right time so we just went for it according to legends this gift will bring its owner prosperity and good fortune for the next videos to come i like to hear that keep on making videos because they are truly awesome to watch 100,000 subs are on the horizon the your playmat team ps here's 10 percent off store wide for your community ruxin 3410yp so go check out your playmat guys they sell a lot of like playmats and sleeves so if you use code ruxin 3410yp for 10 percent off on their store so go check it out i'll have it linked in the description okay so let's see what they sent i'm a little excited now i'm a little excited what could be in here we have oh my what are these a hundred thousand subscribers <laughs> my face in there oh my goodness check this out the ultimate deck sleeves can you beat these should i put my blue eyes deck in these hundred thousand subs what if i started shipping stuff out with these on people get a get a sleeve like this they're like um is this from rux <laughs> that's hilarious okay what are the other ones then okay are they the same or are they a different one i'm interested oh it gets more of them cool hundred thousand subscribers that is so awesome that's hilarious the shocked face there it is i never use that thumbnail so i don't know what they're talking about <laughs> okay i'm just kidding that, that's pretty funny so if you guys want to get some custom sleeves go check them out use the 10 percent off and you guys can get 
I mean, I'm not sure that they're selling the rucks and sleeves. You can just go make whatever sleeves you like. Okay, so that was super cool. So make sure you guys go check them out. I really enjoyed those. Those are awesome. And we have one final package. I believe this is some sort of mystery box. He told me it's a it's a mystery slab box or something. So it's just in a regular package, but it has the address on it. So I don't want to show that part. Um, let's see if we can get it out kind of and keep the presentation. Here we go. So we have IG, the journey, YT, eBay, mama with the eyes of blue. Okay. We've got, thank you for supporting my business. I really like this. Very shiny. Got a holographic business card. Okay, cool. Yeah, we hit a hollow. Okay. <laughs> let's see what is in here. It's some sort of mystery. It's like a mini mystery box. We have inside, we have some, uh, looks like some regular old cards. Let's see what are in the regular old cards. All right, we've got Penguin Brave, Jabbing Panda. Whoa, what is this? Is this... Um, probably Korean? Yeah, Korean. There we go. Because it has circles, it's Korean. Then it's not Japanese. That's what I learned from you guys in the comments. So <laughs> I have learned a little bit in terms of the languages. All right, cool. More Korean stuff. And so these are just like the more of the, you know, commons bulk kind of stuff. So I guess that's included in every single one. Then we have some foil stuff. Let's see what they are. We have the Iron Dragon Tiamaton. Okay. Signal Warrior. Jirac. Giant Rat Seas. Giant Red Seas. <laughs> Giant Rat Seas. No, not that. And then the Brotherhood of the Fire Fist. Okay. So a few, few foils. Nothing real crazy there. And then we have, finally, is this the grade? Yeah, it's a graded card. It's a random graded card. So I don't know what we're what to expect. Like, is it going to be PSA graded? Is it going to be BGS graded? CGC? Like, what is it? What is it going to be? Or is this going to reveal it? Um, I'm not sure. All right, we have a... It looks like it's that other grading company. I can't remember what it's called. It's overseas. I figure it'll say on the label. But we have a that grading company. I can't remember. OG maybe or something? A blue eyes white dragon from SKE. What is the grading company called again? OG. Yeah, I was right. Okay, OG. So it has a eight centering or eight surface, six edges. Wow, that's pretty bad. Seven corners and nine centering. So we have a blue eyes white dragon graded card. This feels a lot like a BGS slab. It has the BGS subgrade. So it's let's see the slab. I kind of want to check this slab out because I've never seen one of these cards. So. This will actually give me a little insight into them, which is pretty cool. Viewer Mail is always giving me these new grading companies like uh, CGC is not that new anymore. They're kind of a year and a half old or whatever now, but uh, I never touched a slab from there. That got sent in. That was cool. This seems pretty, uh, it's very BGS like, very solid, you know? Okay, what is what is happening there? What is this? Uh, what happened? What is that? I don't know. That's weird. Okay. Uh, I'm just really interested in the slab. It seems very solid. Like you could just. You could just knock someone over the head with this thing and probably like knock them out. Okay, so that's pretty cool. All right, this is uh, pretty interesting. So, random mystery box graded card. So I don't know if they're all OG grading or what, but that's it's pretty interesting. I mean, that's kind of cool. I'd say mostly the value is in the graded cards. I mean, I mean, these didn't really give us much value at all. So I don't know if you can actually get good stuff in there or not. I mean, it's probably just random, but... Um, PS or not PSA OG8. So uh, honestly, I mean OG8 is probably not worth very much because it's not you know probably not in a PSA8 or whatever. But even that, it's a blue eye, so that's really cool. So I don't know what how much they would cost because he just sent it to me. Um, I don't know like what the value is, like what what you would pay or or not if we like made value back or not. But either way, really cool. So I like to see that. I like to see these new uh, new grading companies like actually hold them myself so I get can experience it a little bit. I don't really mind the look of it. I think it looks okay. It just feels a little bit like BGS, I would say. But if you're overseas and you don't have that BGS option or PSA or whatever, then I see why you would go here because it's just, you don't have to ship overseas and I'll do all that stuff. All right, that's it for this video, guys. A lot of really cool mail. We had the 100,000 subscriber sleeves. That was cool. We had a graded mystery box. We had the rarest card of all time, the uh, Larva Moth from 1998, the Cousin Moth. Pretty awesome. And then some other really cool stuff. So I appreciate all you guys sending stuff in. If you do want to send me something, check out the PO box in the description. You can send over whatever you want. It can be packs to be open. Yeah, we opened some packs in today's video. That's always fun. You can send some cool sleeves or whatever. Just send it over and we'll probably do a mail opening every two or three weeks, I would say. Something like that. As long as we have enough mail. So that's it for this one, guys. Don't forget, special editions this Saturday. And if you missed yesterday's video, all the 2006 10s, go check it out. I will see you guys later. Peace.
Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh, 